and welcome to the Will Leach Show. I am the aforementioned Will Leach, and I thank you for spending part of your day with me. Today's show is about the impermanence of athletic brilliance. If you'll forgive me a moment, I'm going to do something that you might consider unforgivable. I'm going to ask you to have sympathy for someone from Boston. Tony Canigliaro was supposed to be Bryce Harper, a Massachusetts native. His rookie year, at the age of 19, he hit 24 homers in 111 games for his beloved Boston Red Sox. He was even better the next season, leading the AL with 32 homers at the age of freaking 20. He remained great until August 18th, 1967, when an Angels pitcher hit Canigliaro in the face, breaking his cheekbone and his jaw and severely injuring his retina. He wouldn't play for another year and a half, missing a Red Sox World Series appearance along the way, and was never the same again. Save for 20 games in 1975, he was out of baseball at the age of 26. He died of a heart attack at the age of 45. It was all there, and then it was gone. Top of the world, and then it all vanishes. I have no idea how athletes deal with the reality that everything in their life, the money, the fame, the spoils, the competition, could be gone in a split second. They are forever imprisoned by their own brittle, fickle bodies, the very vessel for their genius, so vulnerable to a destruction that comes from out of nowhere. I have no idea how they deal with this. If I get fired, or if I'm on a TV show that gets canceled, it'll suck, but I'll be devastated. But you know, I can still eventually go back to whatever I was doing before. I'll never have to stop writing. The worst thing that can happen to me is that I could hypothetically cut off the tip of my ring finger while making my wife Mother's Day breakfast and thus have a little bit of difficulty reaching the W and the S on the keyboard. That's my career-threatening injury. An athlete can have their whole livelihoods taken away by a divot in the turf or just one stray fastball. It can go away in a flash, and suddenly, the thing you devoted your entire existence to is gone. And suddenly, you're only 22 years old with your whole life in front of you and nothing to fill it with. What happens then? I can't fathom it. We look at athletes and we envy them, and with good reason. They have much cooler lives than we do. But it can be over with like that. It's a piano hanging over your head at every minute, ready to snap at any time. I don't know how they're not constantly looking up, waiting for it to drop. Our guest today is one of the stars of Black Panther, which means Daddy finally did something cool. He gets to talk to someone from Black Panther. She can also currently be seen on CW's Arrow and Netflix's Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Please welcome Sadelle Noel. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course, of course. Thank you. Seriously, she's, she's in Black Panther. <laughs> it's so awesome. Um, okay, so, uh, exactly. Uh, uh, are, you, are you tired of, do you have, do you have to do it all the time? I, I, it's I, become like a thing, right? It's, it's, it's a very big thing, and I yeah. will never, ever get tired of it. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy to hear that. So, um, so one of the things that uh, uh, we talk, I talked about earlier was the idea of athletic permanence. Like, you were an athlete. You were a very successful athlete at the University of Georgia, where yeah. I live. Uh, <laughs> I don't live on campus. I live uh, in Athens. And you were very successful. And one day, you had an injury, and then it was just gone. I, I, obviously, things are going well, so I don't yeah. feel terrible <laughs> bringing it up. But certainly, uh, I can't imagine what athletes have to go through when that happens and and the kind of the adjustment you make what what was that like when that happened well yeah that's the thing like being an athlete you don't think of what if it's always like you have your go-to and my go-to was the olympics and that what if factor never came into play until it came into play and i had no idea what i was going to do i literally went into a hole for a year and I had no idea what was to it do with my life. Was it a sudden injury? Was it was it during competition, or was it just? Uh, a it was it was a not sudden. I, I gradually like felt right. it every time right. I'm a hurdler. Right, right. So every time I went over the hurdles, I always felt it was a stress fracture right. in my groin area. So every time I went over the hurdle, or every time I did a triple jump or a long jump, I felt it, and it just I was trying to fight through the pain, and then finally, as it got worse. I went and got checked out, and they were like, so you have a stress fracture. You either take time off. And were you in school? Were you, yeah, you saw I, I was in competition? Yeah, right. I was right. in school, and then, I, and then they were like, you could take time off, which I did, but it wasn't enough time. I still came back, and it was still there, and it got worse. And then I still, like, I ran professionally through it, through right, the right, pain course, and everything, because I was just like, they were like, you either you have to take 
a, you know, a year off or something. But I'm like, yeah, I'm a competitor. I'm, yeah, and I'm like, right. no, the the Olympic trials are coming right, up. What are you right. talking about? I can't take this off. This is the like, like, absolute yeah, worst time I have to, to go right. and do it. So I tried to fight through the pain, and then it, I I didn't did the worst trials ever, and then all of a sudden, it was like, okay, so you wait four years again. For or or what do you do from here? And and they were like, well, if you actually like fractured it, then we could do something. But a stress fracture is just, just a hairline fracture, right, right. so you have to either just take it time and let it heal. And I was like, well, I don't have time. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> well, right now. Exactly. So, so so that year, I mean, I, I mean, again, I I feel like less terrible about bringing this up because you're in freaking Black Panther. Yeah. But certainly that year. Like you, almost it's almost like a year in the wilderness, right? Mm -hmm. Just like figuring out what you're gonna do next. Yeah, pretty much. I, your whole life has been being an athlete to that. Point. Yeah, it was. It, I I never even thought that acting would have came into play or just anything else. I was just since I was young, since I was a young girl, I ran track my entire life, and that was the goal. It was never an if factor. So I took off a year because I was just literally just I was in a slump. I didn't know what to do, and I was just on my couch watching Sex in the City and eating Cinnabons. That's what I was doing. I, I, I have to tell you, I believe the Sex in the City part. I don't know if I believe the Cinnabons. Oh part. no, Cinnabon! Really? It's still it's still into play. Like I, if there's a Cinnabon in New York somewhere here, I will go find it. No, Cinnabons <laughs> will never ever stop my my, my experience my life. of eating a Cinnabon is a much sadder thing. Oh no, just, it's but... such a grateful <laughs> feeling. It's so good. That's my home place. I love it so much. So what much. pulled you out of it? What what pulled you out of that? Because I, I I you know I'm, I write about sports. I've yeah. talked to a lot of people who have gone through that, of that, that experience of suddenly it's over and what you do, because not only it's what you've done your entire life, it has mm -hmm. been your singular focus yeah. of everything revolves around that. How, what snapped you out of it? Um, well, I had a sports manager at the time and he was like, hey, what about sports modeling? Um, and I was like, uh, okay, I'll, I'll give it a try. And that got me out to California. Sports modeling led into like, you know, doing um, feature work in commercials. For Cinnabon, I see. <laughs> oh, that would be the best. <laughs> I don't think anyone would believe that you need Cinnabon. <laughs> oh, no, if you look on my Instagram page, you will see Cinnabon. Okay, no, I there. believe you. I just think that like, if you were doing an ad for it, they'd be like, yeah, like, yeah she don't need to. But like, cinnamon yeah. cuts fat. Ha -ha. Okay, there you go. See, you're getting paid by them right now, aren't you? <laughs> Um, but no, so like, so that, so you just kind of like found this kind of new thing. I found this new thing, and I, I did take theater classes in college. I just right. didn't major in it. Um, and I, my professor would be like, "Oh, you should do it for real." And I was like, "What? No, I'm an athlete. What do you mean? Right. Act? Right. What?" Yeah. And then so when it actually came into play, and I was doing all this featured work, and I was just like, "Well, um, what are those people doing? Why did? Why are they talking?" And I was <laughs> like, "I remember I was even <laughs> featured in this. Do you remember this show called? Um, I think it was Jack and Bobby." Jack, oh yeah, the, the Kennedys, like the Kennedys, like the Kennedys right? right? And they yes. were they were track right. athletes, right. and I was like I was like a background player. I was a hurdler. Oh, you <laughs> and okay. And I'm, not, I'm gonna look for you hurdling. No, I was weird, and he was doing it wrong. This is how much I did not even know <laughs> about the business. Right. Right. He was doing it wrong, and in, in the middle of a take, I walk over to the lead <laughs> person, and I'm like, No, you have to get your trail leg over like <laughs> this, and the director was like, Cut, yeah, cut. Seriously, who? Where are we getting chick? the hurdlers? Like, what is going on? <laughs> and I was like. I had no idea, like, I wasn't supposed to talk. I was just supposed to be, like, oh, just practicing hurdles. I was just like, oh, well, I was just, you know. Yeah, but you're doing it wrong. He's doing it wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. So then I was just like, okay, so maybe I'll take it seriously. I, I started going to classes, and I actually started interning at um, casting director's offices, mm -hmm. and then I also started doing AD work, and I was a PA on oh, set. Oh, so you were full, you were. Oh, yeah, yeah I did yeah. PA work. I started doing PA, and that led to, like, a second AD, and then I did, um, second second and so i learned everything because oh. i had no idea and i didn't know anything about the business and i wanted to learn every aspect if i was actually going to you know right. full yes. fledged go into it so yeah i did all that while i was actually doing classes and then when i was ready i started auditioning and then and then here you bam. are and then nothing happened and then absolutely <laughs> nothing, nothing happened then, we know. never heard yeah. <laughs> um because i'm curious about that because i talked to a lot of athletes too when they ha go through that transition that they, they're looking for not just something to do, but something competitive. Yeah. Like something to kind of like that itch that you have. Mm -hmm. Like you don't become like you don't become a great track and field star because you're just fast. Like you have to be dedicated and devoted. Yeah. It's been your entire life on it. Does does acting satisfy that Jones? Is it, it does it a little or a little, but um with with, with acting it's a lot of losing. A lot of losing, <laughs> right. A lot right, of losing right, right, before right. you get to that. Because the whole thing with you know, with, with track and field and, and just any sports, it's it's win lose, win lose, win lose back and forth or or not win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win. Lose, lose, yeah, lose, yeah. Lose, right. No, it's just literally like going out auditions and, and hearing no, 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 no. And then it's like, 
oh, hmm, maybe. And then no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> so then, and all of a sudden, yes, I got glow, and it was right. like it was like the perfect thing because I always said like when I do hit, I want to do something very physical. And, and you, you couldn't are. get any more right. physical than being a Dora in Black Panther <laughs> and then a wrestler on a glow. Like you couldn't get any more physical. Can you perfect. can you like play like an accountant now? Can you or do you like do an it. accountant that's like picking up the table and throwing it? Throwing oh, it I would be the accountant picking up the table. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like yeah. damn it, I would. Yeah, yeah the yeah, Rock yeah, has this. I saw him in a, I saw him in a movie where he plays like a like a corporate uh, like a middle manager. Yeah. And like he and he's like helping out his son who's been framed for drugs. This is a long story, <laughs> but he he basically at one point has to get beaten up by like three like scrawny teenagers and you're like okay you're really? a really good actor like you are a good actor the yeah Rock. But, but come on yeah so dude. like no no so i think you, you'd be i think you'd be a tough accountant yeah i, I would definitely be a tough <laughs> accountant i would be the most alpha accountant there with <laughs> yeah, i have zero doubt uh, uh about that and i guess that that's kind of the last thing on this too is the is the notion of because you're an athlete like do you what parts of your i, I like I, do you do your own stunts like what parts of the, your athletic world do you take over now yeah um right now yes i at, on glow we do our own stunts right. on black panther yes i did my own stunts on arrow i did my own stunt. So I, I guess I'm on that verge of, yes, doing my own stunt. But not all the people, but, actors, do their own stunts. No, I mean, and then, I mean, then you, you have liabilities, though. Right. So it's like, even if you want to, sometimes right. it's like, eh, eh, we can't, we don't, we can't cover that. We, we just simply can't. Unless you're Tom Cruise and you just had that yeah, in your, your contract. Yeah. And you're like, yes, I'm going to dangle just, from yeah. the, the tallest building in the world and jump out a helicopter. Yeah, I, I mean, think I think his new <laughs> one, he actually just runs a helicopter into a mountain. Oh, that's yeah, like, it, it's crazy. It that's, just, that's just him. And I mean, and like, I'm not at go. that level. I'm not at that level <laughs> yet. Yet. Oh, I have yes. no doubt. Yes. I have zero doubt. <laughs> Um, okay, well, we have a little game that we play here okay. uh, called um, Frivolous Questions of Dubious Import. Relatively mm -hmm. simple, easy questions, but hopefully uh, we'll, uh, you know, have uh, insight into uh, the soul of, uh, mm -hmm. of you. Okay, uh, you, of course, were uh, Chuck, you ran hurdles. What's the easiest part of the heptathlon? Like, the easiest part. Not for you specifically, but just the easiest part for, like, someone that's, like, kind of out of shape and ugly and stupid looking, <laughs> like, say, me. Like, what's the easiest thing for, like, an idiot like me to do? Um, uh, maybe the easiest would be the last one with the 800 the 800 because you that sounds really far because regardless the whole thing with the heptathlon which i did right is it's points so no matter what time you come in you still get, I get points. some points right yeah right. so it's not like you're last you right. still get points so, so if i throw but if i throw something that just like lands right in front of me i don't get any points so if i just it, finish. if you meet if you reach the bar wherever it is if you get that over the bar then you might get one point Yes. I'll take it. <laughs> um, okay, here's the, here's the thing. I, I, I've told you I live in Athens, mm -hmm. and so I've been to some track and field meets. I literally run on the track at That's the Athens. That's crazy. Athens you run on field. track that I ran on. I yeah. That's and, pretty cool. Not, uh, uh, and frankly, a lot faster than you ever did, <laughs> to be honest, because I was in a car. Um, <laughs> Is there a trick for watching? Well, I always love going, but I have a hard time focusing my eyes on one thing. It's similar to gymnastics. When I've been to gymnastics, it's also gymnastics is a big deal in Georgia, yeah, too. Yeah, it is. I go, and I'm still kind of trained by, like, here is a basketball game, and things are going this way, and yeah. these five people are going this way. What's, for an amateur that's going to watch a, tra just to watch a big meet, what would you recommend a fan train their eyes on or to pay closest attention to just as a bystander? Um... Oof. Other than it's, like it's, you or your friends, right? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, I, the the field events are great, but I mean, everything is the relays. The right. relays are the most intense, so I would always and people always come, you know, for the last end of it. So I, I would say the relays, yeah, like okay. always. I it's mean, it's hard to tell who's wrong. winning sometimes. Like that, that's always the problem. I have. It is until you reach, especially well, and. The thing is with the relays, you have to see who gets the baton first. Okay, and oh, then I'm tracking. So you're, okay. yeah, and I know that like you, some people, the, the first lane is like the first, and and then it goes at an angle. Okay. But everything when it comes back to that last 100, you see everything come. So you'll see okay, like okay. who matches up. But yeah, the whole thing, the whole trick of it is like see who gets that baton first, first and then track for. Yeah, oh, exactly. God. All right, good. That's good to follow. I'll watch that. Do athletes even get to have any fun in college? Like, did you get, like, it's because you guys are always training. Okay. This is the thing that's common people don't understand about athletes. They're just working all the time. Do you still get to it's have fun? It's a full-time job. Yeah, right? Like, what's so funny was, like, when I had my college visits and the, co and, and, and the coaches were like, yeah, yeah, we do this and, and, and all this. But it's literally, I had practice morning, and then I would go to class, and then I had afternoon uh maybe do one class and then I have the main practice because right. that's not even, <laughs> Those are two that's warm -up not practices. even, yeah, that yeah. wasn't even, that's the main thing. And then right after that, you have weight training. Yeah. So it's a full-time job, but um, 
It's fun. You don't have to tell me specifics of fun, uh -huh. but you still got to have some fun. Yes, you have fun, but the whole type of thing, like I tell people, like I've never had a spring break. Right. Like, so when you're in college and everybody's like, yeah. spring break Woo! and we're going right, to this, right. that, like, no, yeah. we go on, we're going on track meet. Right, so right. I didn't have the type of fun what like the, the average college student right. had because, you know, all those, all those times of leaving and stuff, we, right. we didn't get to do that. Like your football, basketball, you, that's, that's your whole thing. But what, on your away meets, yeah, yeah, okay. you definitely have like Florida relays, Penn relays. Oh, you having some fun. But well, not the typical like spring break. Well, we're, we, we're very busy laying waste to our bodies, too. <laughs> so don't think that we're not busy. Um, Georgia, obviously, with the Georgia, where did you watch the college football championship game? Where did you watch it? It was tough. It was, uh, it was a dark. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was a great game. It was a great season. We should be happy about the season. Yeah. But, but did you watch the game live or were you, uh, were you on set? So, so I was on, in Shanghai. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. <wow. laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I was actually watching. The game was watching. probably on at like, what, what, one in the morning? Yeah, yeah, but I was totally up. I was watching, I was watching there, and, um, but no, yeah, I totally watched, and it was, ugh, It was rough. It was rough. It was very, it was very disappointing. It, I, it was. Time in the future. I was like, this is our time, yeah, and I was like, time. literally it was calculating. Such a fun I year. was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, yep, we gonna get, we're getting this. Like, we close. worked so hard, and. Woo, that was the biggest letdown ever. It was but a bummer. Yeah. It was a bummer. That's yeah. right. Just the start. It's not the start. It's not the finish. It's the start. Yeah. Um, do you ever just go up to the people on the street and say, I was in Black Panther? Because I would totally do that if I were in Black Panther. <laughs> I do, uh, okay, not necessarily. I, I did it once. Oh, you did. Okay, what'd you do? What'd you well, do? it wasn't even, it was like, okay, so I, I went to go see Infinity War. Mm -hmm. And it was like a bunch of people in front talking about my friend Winston, mm -hmm. who I met on Black Panther. We're now friends now. And they were like, oh, we are there. They loved that Mbaka was like in it and everything. And they were just talking about it. And then, and then I was like behind them. And my friends were like, tell them you're, you're Black <laughs> right. Panther. Cause, and then, cause they started talking about Black Panther and they were like, and then my friends were like kicking me. And I'm like, no, who am I just to be like, yeah. I, I was in Black Panther. I was Adora. You know? <laughs> like I was, I was the one who died. Yeah, like, like, who I'm am I to say that? And then, moment. so I didn't do it. Spoiler and my friends alert. were like, "Yeah, spoiler alert. Spoiler sorry. Alert. If you have not seen Black Panther, stop watching the show. <laughs> I don't want you watching the show if you have not seen Black Panther. Yeah, it's been like two months, people. Seriously, you should have watched. You're it. like, you're the one jerk who hasn't. <laughs> um, yeah. So then I, so what I did is, um, afterwards when we were leaving, they were still there, right. talking about it. And then finally, I was like, I walked up and I was like. Hey guys, so I, I was in Black Panther. My friends told me to tell you. Okay, and I, I, I like literally was like, okay, we'll con forever. Right. And then they were like, what? You were Black Panther? And then I was like, oh, okay, oh, good. Yeah. yeah, I was. So I'm now like, you have to do it all the time. Now yeah, I don't know uh, if I can just do uh, that just, all the time. There are screenings around the clock of Infinity War. I, let's stop the show right now and just go oh with you. Oh my gosh. To yeah. watch. Um, okay. Um, you are one of the few actors that's had a movie, uh, that's had a role in both the DC and the Marvel universes. I know. So who would win in a fight, Superman or the Hulk? I mean, I love the Hulk, but I think Superman would win. Yeah, Superman wins everything. That's yeah, why he's so yeah. Wins everything. Um, if you could body slam one person, who would it be? Like for real, for, for real? real, like a real person, like like. A Even if person. I love them? No, no. Some, preferably someone you do not like. So I'm, oh. I'm trying to get you to 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 fight, tell me someone you don't like. And uh, oh, there's no, like. there's no one I don't like. I, I, Nobody. I mean, Nobody. what? I mean, her, what? Back in like. Fifth grade, when somebody picked on me, I would right. I would definitely sh like. Body Is there slam someone that her. you would like fun body slam? Is there someone you would like 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 a friend of yours that like? Because like, you probably know like how like that's wrestling, right? You can do like the light body slam where it looks like it hurts them, but it doesn't actually hurt them. Oh you know, yeah, your friend would be into that. Yeah, no, everybody wants me to body slam them. That's the thing. <laughs> that's this thing. Like I would love. I, I, I don't know why I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't hurt you that. <laughs> body slam, <laughs> headlock. That's what they want. Like even last night, I went to a party and they were like, "Can you put me in a headlock for the, for our picture?" And I was like. Oh, Okay. Well, a headlock, I understand. <laughs> Just knock them out. Then they'll, they'll, uh, okay, so um, what's the wimpiest stunt you've ever seen a non-former athlete actor beg out of? The wimpiest stunt? That would be like, oh, I can't. See, that's Tom Cruise. He is great about it. But like, what's a stunt that like, someone, like, someone's like, I, I, I need a stunt double. I'm stapling or something. Is oh, there... my gosh. I haven't really. I, I think everybody tries to, everybody do, tries to, try do, to yeah. do their own. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody really back out of it. I wouldn't even back out of anything. Like, no, I, don't, I haven't seen anybody back out. In his That's, new movie, Tom Cruise just sets himself on fire and jumps off of. I am pretty of sure fire. that will happen. <laughs> um, okay, so last question. Last yeah. question. I don't want to take too long. Is is this 
currently, right now, the most fun time that you've had in your life? Is, is everything, is this, is this when things are going smooth? Is, it, is this it? This is the strike zone? Um, I think this is. Yeah, I really do think this is. Yeah, before, I mean, before all this, I was, like, home waiting, waiting for that, that call that, yes, you did get it. And now I'm just on this roller coaster yeah. ride that I'm just, like, really enjoying. That's awesome. Yeah. She's referring to the show, by the way. <laughs> uh, I, that's what the question was about. Is this currently, this exact second, <laughs> the most fun you've ever had? Okay, now we're going to play the game. We're gonna yes. call, it's going to be called Glow or No Glow. Okay. 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 So I'm going to give you the name of uh, either someone that was a, an actual participant in the Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling or someone or that we made up. Okay, okay? Please, please don't hate me. Glow, glow like, or no glow? First, babe, the farmer's daughter. Oh, that's, that's, yes. Glow, glow, glow. Yes, yes, yes. Glow, that's correct. Yes, right. <laughs> I, I know her, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's the, <laughs> let me start with these. Ah. <laughs> um, little Italy. Yes. No, 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 no. Glow. no glow. Glow or no glow, glow or no glow? I just said it's not no glow, it's no glow. No, no. No glow, okay. No, no glow. I'm giving her that one. Yeah. <laughs> she's stronger than me. Um, the Royal Hawaiian. Well, I mean, is that it? Yeah, the fact that they have glow <laughs> wrestling at gmail.com <laughs> is a pretty good sign. Yes. That's a, that's a, that's a gimme, I suppose. Okay, uh, Debbie Debutante. No, no glow. That's incorrect. That's a glow. Ah, shoot. That's a glow. That's a glow. I'm sorry, Debbie. Sunny Delight. No. No glow. That's Okay, great. yeah. That's <laughs> Zelda the Brain. Glow. Glow, that's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Euro trash girl. No. No glow, that's that. correct. No glow. Okay. Thor oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Thor girl. No. No glow is correct. Matilda the yes. Hun. Yes. That is glow. glow. Yes. And <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. No glow. That's correct. I mean, that's from the Prime Minister of England. I just, I was trying to play on with the idea. Right. Like, it was during the 80s, maybe. I thought that would have been cool yeah. if it was. I mean, because, you know, in like actual wrestling, there's like progressive liberal is like one of the wrestlers. Yeah. So maybe they were playing with Margaret Thatcher. Like, okay, last thing we do. Uh, I don't know if we ever played Outburst when you were kids. So the game, it's like Family Feud played really fast. Okay. I give you, the game is called How Fast Can You Say Things on This Show That You're On With Will Right Now. And basically, okay. I give you 30 seconds on the clock. And I give you a category. Like if I said, uh, numbers between one and 10, go. And you would count to 10, yeah. you'd all 10 the right. Okay, yes. Okay. So, but you don't say them in order and, there's no, and, there, and you're not punished for wrong answers. Okay. Okay. So. I feel the pressure. Th 30 seconds on the clock. Highest grosses, grossing movies adjusted for inflation. Highest grossing movies of all time directed by black directors. Uh, okay. Okay. 30 seconds on the clock. Well, shoot, that's not fair. I only know one. Well, well, <laughs> well, then say it slowly. Okay. Um, okay, 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Black Panther. That is correct. Um, One. Black Panther 2. Uh, that's not out yet, but I have no <laughs> doubt it will be on there. Okay, I'll give you some hints. Okay. Uh, this one won the Oscar for Best Screenplay, Best Original Screenplay. Oh, um, um, um. I know, it's stressful. I, I, I know you know what it is. Lupita's it's in it. Yeah. Right. Um, no, uh, but, but original screenplay. Slave, uh, 12 Years a Slave. No, not that no. one. But that, that, that one is on here, but that's not what Oh, we're well, about. that's two then. The one last year. The one, like, literally last year. Which one? With, uh, uh Um. Wait. Oh, get out! There we go! Yes. There we go. That's okay. correct. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> uh, the Italian job, the guy that directed the two Fantastic Four movies that aren't that most recent bad one is uh, Tim Story. Straight Outta Compton, Too Fast, Too Furious, The Fate of the Furious. F. Gary Gray has a mm. lot on this because he's awesome. Wow, yeah. This has been an absolute blast. Thank you for playing along with me. Thank this was you very for fun. Me. And by all means, check out. So Arrow is on right now. We can, Arrow, Arrow's on like right now. Like, like right now. Our oh. the, actually the season finale is Thursday. Okay, by all means. So yeah. so watch Arrow. Or watch Arrow. So good luck on all uh, of that and everything else. And and uh, I you gave the spoiler about Black Panther too. I'd like to find a way Sorry. to get you back in Black Panther. Too. I mean, oh, come on, like yeah. it's Marvel. Anybody, it's, seriously, who knows how no deep spoilers on that, anything else. How, how yeah. deep did it go? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thank you, Ms. Uh, Ms. Adele. I'm very Thanks. honored. That's another. That's it for another Willie Show. Catch us next week on SITV or whatever other dark, weird corner of the internet you're watching this program on right now. I can't do it. On that. Yeah. You can. I can. I can do it. Yeah.